Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to take a deep dive into the sprawling world of J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle Earth. The world is rich with lore, from the elves, dwarves, hobbits, men, and all the other races, each with their own traditions, mythologies, and backstories intricately woven together. Their history is divided into different time periods based on major events. In this video, we're going to focus on the gap between The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, and we'll also answer some other interesting questions about the world of Middle Earth. The Hobbit The Hobbit is centered around Bilbo Baggins and his journey with a party of 13 dwarves to the Lonely Mountain to recover the hoard of gold that has been stolen by the dragon Smog. The events of The Hobbit take place in the year 2941, and it concludes with the Battle of the Five Armies in 2942 about 60 years before Frodo's adventures in The Lord of the Rings. Bilbo's Age Bilbo is 50 years old when Gandalf invites him to join the quest of Thorin Oakenshield and his company of dwarves. By the end of The Hobbit, Bilbo is still 51 years old. At the beginning of The Lord of the Rings, Bilbo is celebrating his 111st birthday in 3001, 17 years after the end of The Hobbit. The Lord of the Rings is mostly set in 3018 to 3019, 77 years after The Hobbit, when Bilbo is 128 years old. At the end of the trilogy, Bilbo is 131 years old and leaves Middle-earth for the Undying Lands with Frodo. Bilbo in the One Ring Bilbo's possession of the One Ring is one of the most significant events in The Hobbit. He finds the ring in a cave after Gollum drops it while chasing him. He continues to keep the ring in his custody for the next few decades, even though it does take a toll on him. Gandalf is suspicious when Bilbo fails to mention the ring, but he eventually tells him what happened. By the end of The Lord of the Rings, Bilbo has not been the ring bearer for decades and looks much older and frailer. So that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this brief dive into the world of Middle-earth and learned something new about The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings, and the gap between the two. If you have any questions or thoughts about Middle-earth, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.